When you use a tiling window manager, one of the things that you probably install is some kind of bar. Now, that's not obviously not true if your window manager comes with a bar, but for those of you who are using a window manager that doesn't come with one, you're probably going to look for some type of bar to install, whether that's Polybar, whether it's Tint2, whether it's XMobar, whatever it is, chances are you're looking for some kind of bar. Now, Polybar is my favorite bar out there out of all of them. And there's a good reason for that is because it actually has just a ton of stuff that you can do with it right out of the box. And there's hardly any configuration that actually needs to be done. And even when you're in some kind of advanced situation where maybe Polybar is not officially supported by your window manager, for example, Xmonad, it's easy to get around the problems that Xmonad happens to cause Polybar. You have to use a certain module in order to get workspaces to work, for example. And even then, they're not perfect, but at least there's some kind of solution there. One of the things that I like most about Polybar is that there's just a ton of stuff that you can do with every single module that's there. And most of that stuff is officially supported, and there's established syntax for you to accomplish those actions without having to delve deep into, like, source code or something like that. So... What I thought I would do today is take you through a process of how to enable click actions for your Polybar modules. This is actually fairly easy, and that's another thing that I really like about Polybar is that it's really, really easy to set up. So let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing you'll need to do is go into your Polybar configuration file. For most people, this is going to be in .config slash Polybar. For me, it's in my BSPWM folder slash Polybar. And Mine looks different than most people's because what I've done is if I vim into my config file, you'll see here at the top that I've included several files into this configuration file and all those things are separate. So none of my modules are actually here. The only thing that's in my configuration file, which is about 140 lines long, is just the bar definitions themselves. That's all that's here. All of my modules are actually in their own little file. So if I go to this file here, this is what all, just all my modules, and you can see that there's just a ton of stuff here. This is only almost 1,100 lines in this one. That's just not normal for, for everybody. I, it's just something that I do because I prefer my config file to be a little bit cleaner. But it doesn't matter. No matter how you've set up your polybar, whether it's this way or just the traditional way, this works the same. So the first thing you need to do is choose a module that you want to assign a click action. Now, I suppose I should explain what a click action is. It's really simple and very obvious. All you have, all it means is that when you click on something, so like, let's just say I click on this one here, which is an MPD module. It's not the official MPD module that has click actions built in. This is just a script that I created and then is displayed on Polybar. If I were to right click on that right now, nothing happens. But what I want to do is set it up so something happens when I right click on it, maybe something happens when I left click on it, and so on. So a good example of this that is set up by default is the clock. Now my clock doesn't work the way the default clock would work. Normally what it would do is switch to an alternative display of the time and date. For, for me, when I click on it, it shows me the day of the week, I click on it again, and it shows the, the time. So click, 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 click. Simple, right? That's what a click action is. So let's actually go to my music one here and set up a click action. So let, what do I want it to do on a right click? So in this case, I would love it to bring up NCMPCPP. I think that's how, that's the number of PPs in it. Uh, that's It's a stupid name, but I always get it wrong. But it doesn't matter. So we're here at the module. So you go to your the module you want to change. And then you want to put the action that you're going to do. So in this case, I want to do click dash left equals. And then you want to tell Polybar what to execute when that action occurs. So this can be any number of things. So let's just say you want to open up a terminal with a music player. In it. That's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to do quotation marks, alacrity dash E and then NCMPCPP. Uh, yeah, I think that's the, the right name for it. Anyways, if I save this now and reload Polybar, what I should be able to do is click on this with the left mouse click and have the music player come up. And we see that it does. Now, for me, I don't want my music player to be brought into the tiling stack. I really don't. So I have a class set up 
and a rule set up in BSPWM for a class called music, or I think it's called Muse. So if, with Alacrity, what I can do here is go back here, do dash dash class, and then if I can type M-U-S slash M-U-S, or not, slash comma, M-U-S, and then save this again, restart polybar, and now if I click on this with the left mouse button, it's floating. And that's exactly the way I want it to work. All right, so now that we've set the music player up to come up when there is a click action on the MPD module, what happens when we want to, say, do something based on a script instead of something that comes up in the terminal? That's actually fairly easy. So let's go down here to the, mo the updates module. And I'm not actually going to be able to show you this because this module isn't actually in my polybar right now. But let's just say that I wanted to, every time I click on this, run a script that would update my computer. I mean, why not? And I had, a, let's say I've written a script that will do just that. It'd be a really simple script. And, but let's just say I wanted to do that. So let's, let's do click dash left equals, and then the path to the script. That's literally all you have to do. Now, tilde slash, um, or let's just say user local, because I don't actually have a script like this. Local, if you can type, bin update.sh. And you can do it that way. Or you can go through and do, I believe, EXEC. -E I don't think you actually have to do that. If for some reason just the path to the script won't work, put EXEC -E in there. Or alternatively, alternatively, if it's a bash script, you could do bash. And then it will know to do execute bash. If it's a Python script, you could do Python. Again, if you can, you know, type, which I can't. Um, but anyways, you get the idea. Okay, so you can run scripts that way. You can run things that are going the terminal. If we wanted to go through and just just say open up a an actual application, let's just say for whatever reason here in the weather, every time we wanted to click on it, we wanted to open up Bitwarden. So we just type in Bitwarden, and we'll save this, restart Polybar, click on the weather, and we get Bitwarden. Cool, huh? And that's, you know, you can literally open up anything and it, you can use other things other than the, the the left mouse button. So if we wanted to change that to right, we just do click dash right. If we wanted to do the middle click, we do click dash middle. That's how you use click actions. It's very simple. And as far as I know, that can be used with any single module that Polybar has, even the custom ones. So like the... The MPD one that I showed you to begin with, that's a custom module that I created. And the click dash right and click dash left and click dash middle work just fine, even on the custom modules. So that allows you to add a lot of functionality to your bar that wouldn't necessarily be there otherwise. So now for me, I don't know how useful this is going to be. I'm going through and setting them up anyways because I actually want them to be there, but I try not to use my mouse on the bar. I tend to do that sometimes anyways, which is why I'm setting it up. But for the most part, I'm trying, you know, I always try to interact with my window manager through the keyboard, but it doesn't matter. It, the fact that these actions are now there make my bar even more useful. So that is it for this video. If you have questions, you can leave those in the comment section below. You can follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I would like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Sid A, Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2, Fun 2, Patrick o, Primus, Marcus, Meglin, Jack, Knife Tool, Steve A, CyberGuy, Linux, Mitchell, Arch Center, Amateus, Carbon Dated, Merrick, Camp, Joshua Lee, J Dog, The Beasties, Rock, Peter A, and Crucible. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.